After months of research, a financial institution called the Reinvestment Fund, that's said to use data to improve communities, presented their findings to Chattanooga's Affordable Housing Committee. The mayor hopes their results showing strengths and weaknesses of the city's real estate market will aid his plans for affordable housing. Local 3's Abigail Martin has this story. With today's presentation, the market value analysis will understand where we need to make our investments and, and why. Chattanooga Mayor Tim Kelly's administration unveiled a housing action plan at the end of last month, recommending policies to improve the city's housing market, which is said to have a sizable lack of affordable homes. Mayor Kelly has said without change, 7,000 working families won't be able to afford to live in the city by 2030. Nicole Heyman, Chattanooga's chief housing officer, says the reinvestment fund's market value analysis will help focus their efforts. What we learned is what the characteristics of the various markets and sub-markets of Chattanooga are. We identified the areas that are very strong economically and where they are in the city. Ira Goldstein, president of Policy Solutions at Reinvestment Fund, presented this map to the Affordable Housing Committee. He says purple areas have high home values and low levels of financial distress. Blue areas have more affordable home prices and a mix of owner and renter neighborhoods. Yellow areas have below average home prices, modest home ownership rates, and the second greatest share of subsidized renters. And orange areas have the lowest housing prices, low levels of development, and high rates of financial stress. Councilwoman Demetrius Coonrod says the map gave her hope for the future, but says her district shows systemic disinvestment in the community. Coonrod hopes that we will begin to implement the necessary policies and changes that need to happen so that we can see some different colors on the map and actually see a one Chattanooga frame where everybody is thriving. The analysis showed disparities between race, and Kelly's administration lists these findings as key data points. It shows 66 percent of white, non-Hispanic residents live in the strongest three areas, and 64 percent of black, non-Hispanic residents live in the weakest four areas. Heyman says they now know what areas need more support. In those areas that need investment, we're making those investments and bringing those neighborhoods up to quality, amenity-rich, livable neighborhoods for all Chattanoogans.